Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to make your text explode. And for this we're going to need a plugin called Therosy right there. And you can easily get it by going to his website. I'll put it in the description right here nacho4d.com and what you do is you go into freebie Thrasy, and you'll get to this page right here. And depending if you have R11 or R12 or R13, yeah, most of you'll have R12 through 13, but some of you may have R11, so yeah. And to install it, you want to go to your program files, go to Maxon. Cinema 4D R13 and go to plugins and once it's downloaded you'll get this folder and then just drag it in there okay now that we're done with that once you have it installed you're gonna gonna go to plugins throwsy and for this you're gonna wanna put the pieces on 50 or no, I'm going to do 25. And you're going to want to select your objects you want to use. If you have more than one object, hold control and click on each of the other ones. And then break now. It may take a while to load depending on depending on how many letters or objects or whatever you're doing this too. And the more pieces, the longer it's going to take. As you can see, it's doing each individual piece. It's almost done. It's also keyframing each one, so... Okay, now that we're done with that... Um, so, I'm going to deselect all that. So now, when I play it, you see it all falls to the ground, right? Well, you're going to need a floor. Then, just drag any material on it, really. Then you're going to want to go to Tags, sorry guys I had to go some for a sec, okay, and you want to go to, uh, click on your floor, go to Tags, Let me, oh, go to Simulation Tags, and go to Rigid Body, and then when you play it, you notice it slides across the floor. And you'll have all the reflections and stuff. Well, normally you wouldn't have that many reflections, but I have some planes up, so it makes it a little bit more reflective. And yeah, and if you put on ambient occlusion, it'll look a bit better. Yeah, but it might take a while to render. And if you're doing a intro you might wanna you probably don't want to do that but if you're doing a single image that's fine and that's really basically all yeah you can do this for any object you can do it for a cube anything in here but I just did it with text just because that's what most people want to do but actually really quickly I can show you what it looks like on a cube or a few objects cube cone sorry about that I had to eat dinner but to get back to what we were doing I'm gonna select 
just basically do the same thing, but I'm just going to spread each one of these out. And then we're going to want to go to just do the same thing. But this time I'm going to put just 15. Oops, I forgot to select the objects. Make sure you do that. Okay, that was pretty fast. There's really nice physics. Acts like it would be in real life. And I'm going to put on ambient inclusion so it looks a bit real. That looks very nice. Well, thank you guys for watching my tutorial, and look forward to more tutorials in the future. And make sure to check out my speed arts, too. Thanks, guys. Bye.